All right, what's up guys? And I'm going to be talking about two of these programs that you see right in front of me. Now, uh, you know, if you have a microphone and you want to get into the microphone scene more, these two applications you definitely need to know. Voice Meter and Noise Gator. They pretty much filter your microphone's audio in real time so that way when you're recording, you're, uh, you know, broadcasting, you're live streaming, whatever that you're doing, these two will help you majorly. Maybe, you know, you have a headset microphone and it decides to pick up everything that's, you know, in the world. It could pick up freaking uh, a bird from two miles away. Now, Noise Gator I have that I will be focusing on right now. Um, so, Noise Gator helps you close off your microphone when you stop talking so that way you don't get that annoying cat meowing in the background at during one of your videos now obviously that's not something we all want <clears throat> excuse me so uh, what noise gator does is it helps stop your microphone from broadcasting if there's you know really no no close-up sounds like maybe you have your microphone on your headset pull down and you're you know you're going to talk into it so that you can talk to your buddies on steam skype discord um basically anything especially on your game or your broadcasting this will help uh not pick up those sounds in the background it'll help close out your microphone so that uh you know when you're not talking and a car goes by and honks their horn, it's not being picked up in the broadcast or anything. So, um, basically, let's get started here. So the input, obviously, I have my, uh, you know, my microphone, my Blue Yeti, and my output. Um, we're gonna be talking about the virtual audio cables here in just a second. Um, so. As you see here, when I stop talking, the status goes to closed. Now that means, obviously, um, it will stop. Exactly. It will stop uh, saying anything, broadcasting any noise that comes from my microphone, unless I am talking to it. So obviously, as you see here, the current level, um, I have it set at threshold of 15 because that seems like sometimes when I talk lower it will definitely stay above 15 or around 15 so it will keep the status open and you guys can hear me. Now the release time and attack time meaning uh, so if you start talking and then you stop the attack time is how fast the microphone status opens so that it could hear what's coming through it. This will help, you know, if someone honks in the background, you know, not a big deal. Uh, you can set the, the milliseconds to about half a second so it won't open for that. So, but if you start talking and you're, you're streaming, it, yeah, exactly. It's not going to pick it up if it's, you know, uh, delayed by 2000 milliseconds or two seconds and the release time basically the lower it is the faster it will cut off you whenever the status goes to close and you're talking a bit lower now obviously you got your volume boost here um, obviously it's not recommended unless you do need that some of you might some of you won't and boom you know, can't hear me obviously if I click the mute button which is kind of awesome. Now you can activate this program on Windows Startup. You can put the little, um, um, uh, what is it? You can put the little shortcut in your startup folder on Windows. I'm not entirely sure if this works on Mac or not. And the settings, you can have it minimized on launch, minimized to the system tray. You got the voice clarity filter, the drift compensation, and you can check for updates on the launch. Now, most people only use one application, but I would like to introduce the uh, voice meter that I also use. Now, a lot of people use this mostly to get the nice, crisp, deeper vo uh, podcasting voice of, you know, when they're recording. Now, I would, uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. So if I put my voice meter's voice telepan, it says, you know, right in the middle, it's going to make me sound like I'm very basic um, is, is as you hear me. Um, to get that crisp feeling, though, um, we're going to go put it back down to...
to about here I think is what I had it and you can already notice the huge difference in what that makes me sound like and so you get your hardware input and um, so obviously I'm using my noise gator in conjunction with voice meter or noise gator sorry and uh, so I use both of these but you won't have to so basically anywhere in any of these applications you can use you know your blue Yeti, boost snowball your headset microphone anything you want and the reason I use voice meter is mostly because of the nice crisp deep feeling when you're talking um, so over you know there's not much really to the application unless you want it to be you know you got your equalizer add more bass high tones you know what you want um, you can also uh, make your 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 volume gain go a little bit more if you want to boost it in this right here just by on your right lower with these two right here I don't want to mess with them because I have them where I want them to be basically at negative 2.2 decibels is the default and uh, obviously you can see right here on the voice reader application on top right the voice right here on the green that's obviously when it picks up uh, a little bit above exactly what I want it to be picked up by um, so basically if you you know you're in a quiet room you don't really have to use noise gator but voice meter is definitely awesome to use now another thing with the um, virtual audio cable now if you go to voice meter their website voicemeter.com they have uh, a, a virtual audio cable that is basically a cable or you know a virtual audio cable that you install as a sound hardware device basically all of this software but it acts like it's hardware so that will give you additional you know say virtual speakers or a virtual microphone that you can input say your VLC music can go into that virtual cable named music and you can send that music virtual cable over to TeamSpeak or Discord and you could just you know you can stream your music and but you could also be over you know um, on Skype with your actual headset and your headset's microphone and completely you know not be streaming your music on Skype that you're just you're streaming elsewhere so it's really nice to have the virtual cables mostly because it adds you gives you the ability to have a virtual sound device whether it be a microphone or a uh, speaker t kind of device now that's what we're using in this and I can definitely tell you that if you're going into the microphone scene again like I am these two are definitely awesome to use especially if you use them in conjunction with each other but obviously I don't recommend it because there could be you know possibility issues that you don't know on but for me in this situation, I have a loud processor fan that I'm replacing, so I kind of knees need uh, knees. I kind of need noise gator to help me with that. Anyways, if you guys got any questions, whatever, um, you know, there's so many tutorials on how to properly use these two. I just learned the basics so I can have, uh, you know, a somewhat of a comfortable microphone while I'm waiting for my processor heatsink to come. So, you know, I don't have a, a blaring jet engine in my room, but that's just, just me. This is what I'm using them both for. You don't have to. You can use them just one, or you can use them two. Definitely if you're into that kind of um, what you need it for. Anyways, if you have any questions, guys, go ahead and send it down in the comments below. And I, I will help you. I will, you know, find tutorial links. I will help you guys figure out how to use one of these because they're pretty awesome to use and I recommend them.